50 years we've been married, the most wonderful years of my life. It wasn't long after I met her that I knew she'd be my wife. I remember the first time I saw her, the light seemed to shine on her hair, and the band played Two Shadows softly. She looked beautiful standing there. I plucked up the courage and went over to her and asked her to dance for a while, and she looked at me with her gorgeous blue eyes and gave me the most beautiful smile. From that night on, we met often at the Green Mill, a favorite of ours. It was there we got to know each other. We would chat and dance for hours. I got on well with her parents. They were really good to me. On weekends, I'd share in their Sunday roast. I felt part of their family. We loved to play Al Bowley records. We'd wind up the old gramophone, and I'd dream of one day being married and living in a house of our own. We met most Saturdays under the clocks. We'd go to the Flicks or the Tiv. A romantic stroll down Swanston Street. She had so much love to give. On Sundays, a walk by the Yarra. Happily, we'd walk hand in hand. We'd sometimes sit on the lawn in the park and listen to the sounds of a band. It was there I finally proposed to her, under a big oak tree, and I told her how much I loved her. And she told me that she loved me. Our wedding was more than I'd hoped for. I couldn't be happier if I tried. She walked down the aisle full of beauty as I proudly made her my bride. Fifty years have brought many a trial, much laughter, joy and tears. But I couldn't imagine life without her. She's blessed me all these years. Yes, fifty years we've been married, and there's one thing of which I'm quite sure. She will always be my sweetheart, the one I love and adore.